My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Whip's Cheap Guitars. Finally got it. Everybody's been wondering about this particular guitar, the Epiphone Les Paul SL. It's two single coil pickup, flat slab body. Uh, it's been on back order for like two months or I would have had this video out to you when it came out. Now let's see what we got. Attention, valuable and important accessories and box. That probably means truss rod wrench, etc. All right. One thing I can tell you right off the bat before I even open this thing. This guitar is a lot lighter than an Epiphone Special 2. It's a lot lighter than an Epiphone Les Paul Jr. Uh, I do believe it's thinner. Also, it is a wood guitar. It's not a plywood guitar, so that probably comes into it a bit. Here's your truss rod wrench. All right, and that's the guitar. First impressions right out of the box. I would say that this guitar, specifically, it feels toyish right off the bat. Might sound good, I don't know, might play good. Not sure about that either. But it feels toyish. It, it has a very, very light body, very light neck. Uh, another thing, if you have seen uh, the Epiphone Special Ones, you know, they're the ones that have a wrap bridge and they either have two P90s or they have two humbuckers. The Epiphone Special Ones have garbage necks. Every neck I've seen on those has been weak, and uh, this neck has that same feel. Some of the Indonesian Epiphones and some of the Chinese and Korean Epiphones, they have very substantial necks that can take 11s, you know, they're real beefy necks. Although I don't know yet about this neck, I haven't played it, it has that same feel, like it's inferior. That doesn't mean you couldn't change this neck out with a better neck that you have or buy one online for 50 bucks off eBay. But uh, right now I can say that this neck, it doesn't inspire confidence as taking anything other than nines. Wow, it's way out of tune. Of course. Well, the body is good looking. It's all wood. It's extremely light. Uh, the neck so far, you know, I've told you what I think of the neck so far. One of the things you have to watch out for on all wood Epiphone guitars is this wraparound bridge post system. The lighter wood tends to uh, tends to let that ferrule tip quite a bit and it doesn't seem to hold these wraparound bridges as well as plywood. Not saying that that's the case with this one but it's something to watch out for. When you get these bridges a little high and, and there's a lot of tension these bridges will lean in a wood guitar easier than they will in a plywood one. Checking out the frets they all seem pretty well done actually. Uh, the neck is really straight. Of course, it has no string tension per se. This is probably tuned down to a drop C at the moment. Okay, so the whole magic reason everybody loves this guitar, it's essentially a Melody Maker, two pickup version for $99. They call it a Les Paul SL, but that's basically what you're getting here. This is a copy of a Melody Maker, more or less. And to buy an, a two pickup Melody Maker from Gibson is gonna cost you five times this guitar's price. You buy one used, they're about in the $400 range. So you're figuring at least 400 bucks as opposed to $100. So are you getting a deal buying one of these as opposed to going out and hunting down a used Melody Maker? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. My first impression of this guitar right out of the box is it's not the equivalent of a good Junior and it's not the equivalent of a good Special 2. It feels lighter, it feels flimsier, it seems to have the same neck that you find on the Special 1, which is inferior to every Special 2 I've ever played. The neck on this guitar right now, although it doesn't have any tension on it, is actually quite straight. I don't think it's going to hold up well with 10s. I think it would be twisted into a bow with 11s. But that's only my first impression. Once we get some real strings on it, we can make a, a definite evaluation of whether this is a good neck or whether it's an inferior neck that is only good to put nines on. The plastic hardware, it's fine. Even a $2,500 Melody Maker from the 60s is just gonna have a plastic pick guard. So there's nothing, there's nothing negative to say about that. The switch on this guitar, it feels fine. I'm sure it's low quality, but all it has to do is make a connection and switch between one pickup and the next. It really only has just that job and it feels fairly sturdy for 
being what it is. Now, I don't know if this bridge is lower quality than like an Epiphone Junior bridge. Uh, it looks about the same. It probably came out of the same factory. You know, Epiphones have been made in like 11 places, so you can't just say, well, it's better than this or it's worse than that. There's a million variations of these guitars out there. This being a new model coming out of the, the Chinese factory, uh, we'll just have to evaluate this bridge when we get to it. Pickups? Have no idea. I haven't plugged it in yet. So what are we really looking at here? Did Epiphone bring in a guitar that's at least as good a quality as a Special 2, but they brought it in at 99 bucks? Uh, I'm going to say no right off the bat. I don't believe this guitar is in that range. Did they bring in a guitar that is the equivalent of a Special 1 at 99 bucks? Well, that's probably closer to the truth. I imagine the Special 1 and the SL both come out of the same factory. They both, in my mind, have what seems to be a lighter, less dense wood in the neck. The body is... the body's not as important. The neck is really where the rubber meets the road, and on this one, I'm not impressed yet. Now the tuners, my impression of the tuners right out of the box is... Uh, they, they actually feel good. The tuners on this guitar feel quite smooth. When you have tuning problems, it's generally not the tuners, it's generally the nut. These tuners actually, they, they feel they feel as good as any that I found on an Epiphone guitar, as far as a Junior Special or an SL. So right out of the box, I'm gonna tell you that I think these tuners are probably, I think they're gonna be as good or better than most of the tuners you're gonna find on Specials and Juniors. They have the same exact look, these ones are built just a little bit different as opposed to having a solid post. They actually have a, uh, a tension adjusting screw on the outside and they have like a nylon bushing that goes between the head and the post. A lot of the tuners you find on this range of Epiphone guitars, they just have a solid post. There's no adjustment of the tension on the head itself. I'm sure the strings are garbage. The nut, I'm guessing, is soft. Input jack, it, it looks serviceable. Nothing fancy. The body on this guitar is nearly weightless. I, I wouldn't guess this guitar to weigh over four pounds. I mean, it, it, there's like, it's, there's nothing to it. You know, so long as the equipment works, so long as the pots have a usable taper and they function without being scratchy, they're good. As long as the switch does what it's supposed to do, it's fine. There's the best and then there's complete worthless garbage. I think this one's probably somewhere in between. The knobs, uh, who cares, honestly. They're a very cheap knob, but they don't really need to do anything. The pot has good tension. It actually feels pretty smooth and pretty solid. I'm not going to make any definite statements about this guitar. The neck might surprise me. The tuners, I think, are going to be fine. The pickups may sound fantastic. The neck is really the thing that really draws my attention right out of the box. It doesn't strike me as being... A solid neck. I've got guitars I could put 14s on. The neck is so strong and stable. This neck, I think you're probably going to be stuck with 9s or 10s at the absolute most. I don't think you could put 11s on this neck without just turning it into a pretzel. So those are my first impressions of the Epiphone Les Paul SL. A little bit of a mixed bag right out of the box. But we're going to run this guitar through its paces and I'll get back to you in a few days and give you my opinion of what you're actually buying when you purchase this guitar. Thank you guys so much for watching Whip's Cheap Guitars. We'll see you soon.